What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks now, Army. I promise y'all this early review, and I'm gonna finally deliver it today. But before we even get into that, I want to go ahead and just give you guys an update that I did wind up peeping this morning on I'm on my year. I know they made a post on IG, basically kind of, you know, letting us know what's the update on these joints, man. It says launch update. I'm on my year Jordan 12. The Air Jordan I'm on my year 12 in the black burgundy along with the collaborative apparel will launch on Friday, February 24th at 11 a.m. EST. We will be live for that army on I'mOnMyYear.com. The I'm on my year Air Jordan 12 and the white burgundy along with the limited apparel collection pieces will launch exclusively at I'm on my year .com on March 2nd. Stay tuned for more details. So it's looking like we got two days now. They, they separated them. The black burgundy pair is dropping first on the 24th of February. And then that next week, the white and Burgundy pair will be dropping on my year website and that will be on March 2nd. So they're not dropping at the same time. We still don't know nothing about like sneakers at release. I still feel like the black pair probably will drop on sneakers app. But seeing how they saying that the white pair will launch exclusively on my year, I figured that that white pair was going to be the limited one and I figured that that was going to be the toughest one to get army. So Honestly, not really surprised by the information that we did receive this morning. I just know that the white pair, again, is going to be the tougher one. Because even when I did the early review on the white pair, they only had, like, me in size 9. Like, they, I didn't even see my size when them joints did wind up hitting Chicago early. So, that's the update on it. I knew this release was going to be something, man. Like, you can just tell. You can just tell when you got to go through numerous hoops numerous steps you know in order to get these shoes i knew it was gonna be tough and i honestly think that i miss it and i kept saying it every single day i need to do them i'm on my year raffles i need to do the i'm on my year raffles i forgot to do them and i think it's honestly over y'all so as far as the white pair i'm gonna just give it my all on uh what is it march 2nd now and just see if i can get a dub from there now army let's go ahead and check these out man we've had a decent amount of releases especially because of All-Star Weekend. And I got these in a couple days ago, but I really wanted to focus on All-Star Weekend. And now we can finally check it out. We got the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. Colorway is white metallic copper. This is a size 10 and a half. Now, I want to say release date is April 29th on the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. And you guys can see that it comes with the three-quarter box predominant color right here then you got your elephant print right here we got that copper jump man as well and flipping the lid we got our elephant print paper right here and let's get to the shoes man because i mean army if you just got into sneakers and you don't know what the true blue threes are like these might be like groundbreaking to you but these are so similar to the true blues y'all that it's ridiculous like the only difference is like behind the tongue the Jumpman, and you got Nike Air on the True Blues, but it's pretty much the same color because the Nike Air on the True Blues is this same True Blue colorway. Now, we know Jordan played with the Wizards in the early 2000s, and uh, Mike ain't make it to the playoffs with the Wizards, but it's all good. But, you know, I did make a post the other day regarding, you know, some of the best NBA jerseys of all time. Now, that white Bullets jersey that Jordan was wearing when he was playing with the Wizards, them joints was cold, bro. And you got to remember, a pair of True Blues did come out in 2001. So the True Blues went perfect with that Bullish jersey. I had that Bullish jersey army in seventh grade. i never forget it. It was my first Swingman jersey. And my mama wound up getting it for me, man. And I just felt like I was that dude rocking the Bullish. I think I still got that joint, man. Because I really don't throw away, like, MJ stuff. And I feel like I still got the army. If I was to go downstairs and search or go in the garage and search, I guarantee y'all I can still find that Bullets Jordan jersey from 2000. It was got to be like 2002, 2003 I got that jersey. But again, army, checking these out. I mean, some people even were saying that these are close to like the Cardinals. These are kind of close to the Cardinals, just different colors, honestly, with the blue and the red. 
But I kind of like these, man. But it's almost like, do I need them? Like, I made a post about the Air Jordan 6 Cool Grades. And I'm just like, are those necessary or unnecessary? And that's kind of like the same question I got for these. They so close to each other, you know, it's... I mean, it's almost hard to tell. Like, of course, you got more like the OG upgrades with the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. And then you got like the fatter tongue, the elephant print. Like, the True Blues came out 2016. And these set. I remember these joints hit the outlets. But, like, if you was to go ahead and give the True Blues that OG look that Jordan brand has been giving it, like, these things are dang near identical, y'all. But I'm not saying, like, this is not a pickup. Like, this one is a tough one for me. Because I love the True Blues. At one point in time, before the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement became my favorite OG Air Jordan 3, it was the True Blues. And, I mean, it's like if you love these, how could you pass up on these? Like, you do got the bronze jump, man. You got the red jump, man, on the True Blues again, Army. I'm just trying to show y'all how similar these are, but these are still nice. Like, if I was to give you guys a, you know... A comparison with the quality again, I probably would say the Air Jordan 3 Cardinals. Even how they got like the tumble up here, you know, then you got the smooth mud guard right there. Like it's almost the same shoe as the Cardinals. I'm if it wasn't for the colorway of the true blues, I would say that these are just the Cardinals with hits of blue. Now again, Armin, these are scheduled to drop on April 29th. I heard those Air Jordan 1 white cements got pushed back to like June. So hopefully Jordan Brand does not start doing all these pushbacks because I'm not sure if these can get pushed back. But again, I do know that these drop at the end of April. It hits a copper right here on the Also. And I know early I was saying that this is bronze, but on the box is going with a copper colorway. So I'm going to stick with copper colorway. So you got copper down here on the outsole of the shoe. And then you got a copper jump man right here as well, Army. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on a turntable. Give you guys that up close personal look at these Air Jordan 3 Wizard PEs. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable, getting that three quarter box. We got that Copper Jumpman. We got our elephant print right there on the edge of the box. Check out the label Label Reads Air Jordan 3 Retro. Colorway is white metallic copper. Scissor size 10 and a half. Retail, 9 out of 10 is going to be, what, 200 probably for these joints. And release date is April 29th. Y'all got the joints on the turntable. And the first thing you may look at is, like, this tumble leather. These joints are soft. You know, like, sometimes they've had, like, tumble leather on the shoe, and it still was kind of tough. But the tumble leather on these are soft. You do got your true blue Jumpman with air right here on the back tab. Some people probably will want Nike Air. But you got Jumpmans on these. You got your nice hits of that cement gray. Got the true blue down here on the midsole as well. Let's go ahead and check out the outsole. Outsole, you got Jordan in that metallic copper. Hits of that cement gray and that white. You got your hits of that metallic copper right here on the eyelids. True blue right here. Elephant print. Metallic copper right here on the tongue. And they did go with that OG style with the shorter cut of the elephant print. You can't see what color you got behind the tongue right here. So they did stay true to that 88 style that we've been getting lately with the Air Jordan 3. All right, we could go ahead and check out the differences between the True Blues and the Air Jordan 3. Wizards, white laces. Wizards, metallic copper jump man. You got your red jump man for the retro three True Blues. And these True Blues are beautiful, y'all. Still got the same elephant print right here. Elephant print down there at... The bottom of the shoe, you got that true blue in the sock lining. This is more like a cloth material. This is more like that smooth polyester material I'm going to go with. Still got true blue on both of the back tabs. True blue's got Nike Air. These got the Jumpman Air. So you can see the differences with that. I'm still going to rock with the true blues, though, man. True blues all day. OG over everything army so y'all let me know which one you will honestly go with the wizards or the true blues again i'm gonna stick with the true blues on this one army y'all know the vibes man click that link in the description section below for rejuvenator get your water and stain repellent spray these joints six to eight inches apart make sure that you let them sit for at least 15 minutes so that the water and stain repellent can actually soak into the shoe and coat the shoe properly. Take the shoes from all of those bad things, Army. Y'all know I got my link in the description section below. 
to give you 10% off all rejuvenated product, rejuvenated laundry, detergent system, rejuvenated wipes, rejuvenated mink oil, rejuvenated soul protectors, everything you need from rejuvenated. I'm giving you all that 10% off in the description section below army so make sure y'all click the link and other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360 then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off all right army now that you guys have seen the air jordan 3 wizards how do you feel about them? like are these joints a must cop are they necessary i will cop these and, and i feel like i've been saying this all year like i'll cop these if i can get these for the low ski. I love a PE type shoe. And these are a PE. Like these were made for Mike when he was playing with the Wizards. And it's a sample. It's a sample that came to life. It's a cop because it was a sample. Like I love stuff like that, man. And early in the video, I had completely forgot that these are a sample. It's just so close to the true blue that it's just hard to kind of like decipher like do you really need these if you got the true blues but again since these are a sample shoe that jordan brand did decide to bring to life you know this is a cop japanese on swoosh would be ideal but seeing how the playoff 13s moved when everybody was saying that those are pass and they don't want the playoff 13s and where the flint set like all that stuff and seeing how the playoff 13s did move and granted these are coming out at the end of April. It's still tax money available. And it's not a bad shoe. Like, these are not bad. Like, if I didn't have the True Blues, you know, it would be an instant cop without a doubt. But that does not mean that these are not vault approved and that I will not keep these in a vault army. I, again, I just want to be very selective, you know, with the pickups that I do grab. But this is a nice piece, man, to add to the collection. So, Army, again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. Are these joints a cop for you guys? Y'all let me know that in the comment section below. Smash that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell if you don't got it hit. Unclick the notification bell if you haven't been getting the notifications, but the bell is hit. That way you can go ahead and refresh your army. I want y'all to be able to get the notifications for the videos, for the live streams, so that way you guys don't miss anything over here, army. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable army stands strong, like always, most importantly. Hug your loved ones, and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.